Hey YouTubers, this video is a bit of a departure for me because I'm going to talk about computer stuff and this one specifically about my Akitio Thunder 2 Quad RAID enclosure. And I'm not even going to talk about the specs of the RAID enclosure or what I have in there per se. I'm really going to talk about uh, a service I just did to make it quieter. Now the manufacturer claims it's got a very quiet fan in it and I beg to differ, not quiet at all. So I found an aftermarket fan and I'm doing a replacement. The aftermarket is supposed to be much quieter. So I'm going to show you how I did the replacement and we'll see how it turned out. Before I get started, here's what it sounded like before. Now you have no standard of reference for that sound, but I'll tell you it's the loudest thing in the room and probably the loudest thing in the whole basement. You can hear it outside my office. Now for real testing purposes we need to be a little more scientific than that. So I'm going to use this decibel meter app on my iPhone and take a before measurement. Now I have no idea how accurate this app is, but really all that matters is that it's consistent so we can do a good before and after. Here you can see we got a max of 69 dB and a peak of 68. And I'm just going to write down all the numbers so we can do a before and after comparison. So here is the replacement fan. Now I got this fan from uh, an online vendor that also sells the uh, enclosure. And he sells this as a quiet fan option. And he'll actually install it if you buy it from him. I'll put the details on the company in the video description. Anyway, the claim is that this fan is about 5 decibels quieter than the fan that's in the Akidio enclosure. That remains to be seen. So let's get this baby installed. Okay, the fan is replaced and the disc is running again. Time to take another decibel reading. And as it turns out, it's uh, only a couple of decibels quieter than the old fan. But the proof's in the pudding. Let's compare before and after. I would say that it is better, not amazingly so, but it's a much less annoying sound. So for 20 bucks plus a few bucks shipping, I guess I could call this a qualified win. I'm glad I did it. I'm not sure if I would try to talk someone else into doing it. It really comes down to just how sensitive you are to background noise. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.